Hi friends and welcome to the video for Aries for the weekend and I hope all of you are doing great. Thank you for tuning in. So we, I had a reading earlier which was basically just um, an energy update but now this is going to be the weekend message. So let's see Spirit and Angels. Show us what's coming in here for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Show us messages for the zodiac sign of Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, north node. The Fool card, a new beginning and taking a chance. So we have here, uh, taking that leap of faith, a new beginning, something that is some kind of fresh start. You might have to be taking a chance. Um, freedom, Page of Pentacles, an opportunity here could be coming in for you. With the opportunity, Page of Pentacles could be a message, could be an earth sign person. Okay, so we have here Four of Cups. Someone is rejecting an offer, um, not accepting something, just sort of brushing it aside. Okay, we have here you, the queen of the ocean, which is the empress. Um, this is abundance. I feel like you're not, there's something where you're not wasting your time. The chariot card, movement, determined to go forward, Cancerian energy. What's the past affecting this? The lover's card, Gemini energy, connections to other people. There's someone that you could be blaming right now. Uh, your energy is five swords. There could be somebody that you feel did you wrong. Um, you could be angry at them for something that they did or didn't do with the four of cups. Um, you could feel like it's their fault that they maybe act like they don't care or something like that because we have this earth sign energy very slow moving it could be somebody with Taurus Capricorn or Virgo in their birth chart they like to take their time they are loyal they are making an offer but they like to take their time now you want the world which is great success and great achievement. And you get the sun as the outcome, happiness, really super positive energy, optimism, growth, all things working out well in your favor. And the bottom of the deck, we have you waiting for something, very motivated, anticipating, being notified, motivated, three of wands is the sun in Aries. Page of Swords is behind that. There could be something about information or news, gossip, or something like that. You could also be avoiding or staying out of something where there's gossip. Because behind it is a Five of Cups. Now there could be something that was disappointing you, um, going through feelings of loss. But things are turning around here. The Chariot, the Sun, the Lovers, Major Arcana for Healing, Major Arcana for Great Success. Your energy is kind of like, okay, under the deck we got a Ten of Cups. Your energy though is kind of in a Mercury Throat Chakra energy where you feel like you want to tell someone um, how they hurt you or you want to conquer the situation. A Ten of Cups is a lot of emotions invested. Um, fulfilled. Oh, behind this we have a tower. 
So we have here a, a, a shock or a shakeup. There's a queen of wands here, an Aries, Leo, or Sag, and a two of pentacles. Somebody may have had options or choices. We got a king of pentacles here, or sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, mask, masculine. Okay, so let's keep going here. The Nine of Pentacles, independent energy with strength. Doing something on your own terms, or there could be a life of comfort, material wealth, <clears throat> financial comfort, or it could be there's someone who's doing something on their own terms. Like, I'm going to do it my way. What comes in here with the chariot? <clears throat> Eight of Cups, walking away, leaving something behind. Oh, and the Magician, manifesting something new, the energy of Gemini again. So you could check your birth chart. Uh, this is the energy of ideas. Um, so you you could be changing your ideas about a situation. Magician and Five of Swords, this is like, I know I can solve this. I know I can move forward. I can fix it. I can be creative. I don't have to deal with something here. I can move on. Now, why is there a Four of Cups as the root? The root? Wow, Ten of Cups. Okay, a lot of emotions are invested. Something could also be stagnant or stuck. A King of Pentacles. And a Six of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is including you, reaching out, gifting you, or giving you something that you need, being very generous. Okay. Why are you Five of Swords here, Aries? You're the Queen of Wands. So you are grown, or you are mature, you are confident in yourself. You're making your own choices, physical action, where you are taking in the initiative. Two of coin and death. Somebody is offering you something, uh, something better with the knight of cups, death, and two of pentacles. Somebody's reaching out and saying like, hey, you could change your situation here. There's a water sign underlying, could be any Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio feminine, or mom or mother figure, sister, or just somebody who cares very much. Okay, so you're having a very independent, happy outcome. What's this nine of coins sun? Ace of fire, something very exciting coming forward. Ace of Wands is new sparks, new excitement. Why are you leaving something behind? Nine of Swords, something was really stressful for you. Okay, I got a seven and seven. Don't tell me I'll have <clears throat> three sevens. No, I have seven and seven. Seven of Cups, many choices, many options. Seven of Pentacles, wanting something to grow, improve, there is potential for more. Okay. So you have happiness. You're going to have more than enough. There's the queen of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, being smart, making really smart choices, using, dis making decisions based on your headspace, like um, information, data, um, there could also be somebody who's giving you information relating to decisions being made, fair decisions being made. Wow. So I got the Hierophant reversed again, which is pretty interesting because I had that in the, the daily update. Somebody may have lied about... Okay, so the truth is coming out here, though the victory and the high priest, which is the Hierophant. A decision here is being made about the Ace of Swords. Somebody could be dealing with guilt 
Um, somebody could have lied about something and now you're succeeding. What is the Knight of Coin? The Knight of Cups. Somebody comes forward telling you how they feel. And um, we have the Star card. It could be an Aquarius or there's someone here who offers you a lot of hope. They're very loyal to you or they're offering you something that would give you a second chance like a you know, maybe a new job or something like that. Because underlying the deck, five of coin is like, you don't, right now you could be waiting for this offer to come in. Um, there could be something where you really need this, this offer that somebody would be giving you. <coughs> okay. Three of pentacles. It's being worked on. It's being developed. Okay. So, I have the magical mermaids and dolphins here. Show us here for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge for the weekend? Self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Let go of old guilt and remember you're God's perfect child. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Have faith. Okay. Um, your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive. Follow your guidance. Playtime. Do something to create uh, miracles of manifestation. Make a decision. Listen to your intuition. Make a decision. Any other? Dream big. Make uh, Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Okay, I got uh, one more. Show us one more for Aries. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and your work life to balance the flow of activities. All right. Well, this is what I have for you, Aries, for the weekend. It looks really, really good. You're going to have some really positive things coming through for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.